this so um i thought this video would be helpful it's gonna be a quick one um it's about window tint so um all the vehicles that i've owned except for my first vehicle have had tint all around except for the windshield um so this as you can tell it's a 2019 silverado i'll do another side profile of it and Basically, as you can see, it's only got tint in the back. Now, my first vehicle had 5%. My uh, my uh, second vehicle, it had 5 in the back and 20 in the front. My car at home now has 20 all around, except for the windshield. And this has the factory tint. So, I looked online. I couldn't find any videos on YouTube. I've seen pictures that people have posted. I prefer a video. I feel like it would do a little bit more justice but whatever. Um, so I just want to show you guys kind of a close up. I'm here I'm about to spray it off before I take it to the tent shop in the morning. And this is what it looks like, you know, that's without tent and this is the factory tent. So hopefully like I've read online and like the tent shop, well, multiple tent shops has actually told me this, but I didn't really, really think about it until I talked to the one I'm gonna go to that the rear is 20%, that's stock. It's 20% on vehicles, SUVs and trucks. And here, I'm gonna get 20% also. Now I have gray interior. So hopefully, and it's just gray seats and everything else is black. Hopefully with 20 in the front on the sides, even though it's gray interior, it doesn't, uh, doesn't look too light. Otherwise, I'll probably end up doing the black seat covers and doing five in the back like I wanted to originally, but I figured my other car has 20 and it's pretty dark, so why not try with this? So get with you guys in the morning and I guess show you the results. All right, guys, <laughs> let's start off by saying uh, the windshield, I don't know if you can really tell because some vehicles with full tint, not the windshield, don't look like the windshield's tinted, but I kind of got the windshield tinted. You're probably thinking, how did you do that? By accident, how is it a mistake? So at first when I got these windows tinted, I thought that uh, I didn't tell them to do the entire window. Um, I thought they were only gonna do the strip. So I called back and my words to her were, I didn't want the four foot strip on the windshield. Can you do the whole windshield on the doors? And then they offered the type of tent and they tinted it. I didn't think about that when I called her and I think I made the mistake, but they matched the windshield with the windows. And just to be clear, this window, that window were the only ones that were supposed to be done. And this one was done a little bit. It was like a last minute decision, they thought. So those are the only three that were done. Now for the original portion of the video, it was to see if it matches. And honestly, the only thing that makes it look like uh, I guess you would say it's not the same. So if you look through the front, this back window, from the inside out, it looks lighter. And this one, from the inside out, it looks a little darker. I'll get an inside shot, but on the outside, you cannot, you cannot tell, you can't tell. I mean, I can't tell from the naked eye. The glass was cleaner when I first got it. It was daylight, it wasn't as sunny as today. Today is like, almost 50 degrees and sunny um sorry about that the dogs barking at each other so i hope that doesn't annoy you guys but you can't tell so let's go inside this is a couple days later from the first video um and i figured that i'd drive it at night to see how i like it at night with the windshield just to kind of get a perspective on that too you don't notice it now Y'all came here, you can tell from the inside too, kind of, that that's not factory and that's factory. It's a little bit lighter uh, from the inside out. From the outside in, you can't tell that, um, you know, this all wasn't done at the same time unless you know that these come stock like that. 
So what you're all asking is what tint did I go with to match it? Originally, I was going to do 20%. <laughs> I'm happy that the uh, wrap guy, the guy who does the windshields and stuff, who actually tints them, you know, and, and a shout out to the lady who helped me with it. So they say that this is factory uh, 20%. Factory comes 20%. From the outside in, looking in, it looks like 20%. It is 20%, just lighter, because it is a part of the windshield, or window. See? 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 That's 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 how that happened. So, factory, that's 20%. Now, all of your glass comes with a little bit of a, a tint to it, if you will. Even it's clear glass with, like, you know, that's tinted. That's just regular clear glass, regular t clear glass. Comes with a little bit of tint. So, we were going to get 20 on these two to match that one. The thing with that is, um, 20 would have looked darker. So, me and the guy talked, he said, you want to do 35 if you want to match it. That's what you want to do, right? I'm like, yes, I want the entire vehicle, <laughs> that's not messed up again, to look 20% from the outside in. He's like, you want to do 30, 35, because that other little bit, um, to make it, I guess you would say 20%, um, is uh, is already in the glass. So, that's what I did. And as you can see, like I said, it matches good. Now, like I said, um, I, I went out last night, and, um, drove down some back roads. When I first got it done, I drove down some back roads. Um, I drove down some back roads again um, to see what it was like uh, when I, I went to the city. And as you can see, I mean, it doesn't look that bad on the inside at all. At night, a lot of I was even one of those people. They think that. 10 year windshield at all that isn't that strip is ridiculous now later on down the road i might pull this off and have it pulled back off but i'm, I'm telling you i had my uh, uh girlfriend in here my buddy was in here my buddy was in it and at first he didn't even know the windshield was tinted i told him like yeah i got tinted by mistake everything i told you guys and he's like I, I told him i might get it peeled off and he's like i don't even notice that the windshield's tinted i'm like oh I didn't know you didn't notice that. He's like, you don't notice it. What do you like about it? Why did you get pulled off? I don't notice it. And I was like, I don't notice it. I just, I, I probably wouldn't have hopped in the vehicle if I didn't, you know, if I just hopped in the passenger door, didn't come forward from it, I wouldn't have noticed it, you know? Um, so yeah, so that's what it looks like, guys. I think it looks great. Honestly, the windshield, like I said, I only notice it because I know it. The windshield itself, that's the biggest problem is seeing when you're backing up with the mirrors at night. Um, so yeah, um, I think it looks great. So point being, I thought this was going to be a short video. It was probably going to be most 10 minutes. If you want to match the factory tint on your car, yeah, typically your SUV, your truck, what you want to do, even if it's a Ford, because the place I went to, they do the tinting for some vehicles straight out of the Ford factory. If you want to match the factory tint on the rear, do 35 35 will match the whole thing that's 20 but if you put 20 on the front it'll be a little bit darker than the rear just because it already has a little bit it's a little bit darker glass is always a little bit darker so if you do 35 it will match the entire vehicle i'm gonna do one little walk around for you guys see it from the back and this is like the perfect angle with the sun behind you people can't see in without the sun behind you at all so um and i guess you would say just a little back story like i said i drove down some dirt roads i don't like dark factory t i didn't now i like it um i got pulled over last night and um i yielded through a stop sign the stop sign was farther back so i stopped at that then went out the neighborhood you turn out the neighborhood and then i kind of yielded around that turn and there's a second stop sign over by that turn or whatever. I don't know. The cop was cool. He pulled me over. Asked me why I knew. If I knew why I got pulled over. I said it's because I was on my phone. He's like, I didn't even see that. Of course he didn't see that. It was 3 a.m. And the glass had blacked out. He didn't say anything about the tent. I rolled down the two front windows. Because he had his, his squad car lights on. I rolled down the two front windows. Just in case he didn't say something. Didn't say anything. He didn't even notice well, if he did notice it was tinted, he didn't give a crap that it was murdered out. So, um, and I didn't get a ticket for that, by the way. He was a real cool guy, young guy, knew the city just like me. So, anyways, 35 guys. I hope you like this video, and I hope it 
I hope it helped you. I should have gotten some midnight driving with it, but I'm just gonna edit this video together. I promise you, unless you have weak eyes, you're not going to notice that the windshield's tinted if you decide to do that. Till next time, guys.